positions of the tree, a football is hit at an angle of 37 degree with the initial velocity 20 meter per second shown in the figure below. Calculate the maximum height H. Okay, so we want to find what is the maximum height. Okay, and we know that at maximum height our V X will always equal to U X. Okay, however, for your V Y it will equal to zero. Okay, so now uh, let us resolve first in the uh, X and so Y component. Okay, U X. Okay, U X initial we have uh, we can resolve into U X and also this is our U Y. So our U X is equal to twenty cos thirty seven degree. And UY is 20 sine 37 degree. Both also positive because it's to the right and upward. Okay, next, velocity when you reach the maximum, we know that our VX will always equal to UX, so it's equal to 20 cos 37. But VY is equal to 0. Okay, acceleration for x component is equal to 0, for y component is always equal to negative 9.81. And then, okay, s, x we don't know, okay, x, x we don't know, but we know that it's always equal to uxt. Uh, s, y, okay, s, y is the height, okay, so this is the value that we want to find, okay, what is the value? So when you want to find H, the maximum height, first thing you must have three information first. So if you refer to Y component, okay, we have already three informations. We have U, V, A and we want to find S. So we can use equation V square equals to U square minus 2G S to find the Okay, V square equals to 0, U square is 20 sine 37, so U square minus 2G 9.81, so you find your S. So, uh, if you press calculator, you will get S maximum, meaning that this X maximum is your H. Eh? Okay, it's actually your H is equal to 7.39 meter. B, time travel before the football hits the ground. Okay, so this one is from ground, from ground to maximum and then back to ground. Okay, so we have two methods. Okay, either you find the time taken from ground to maximum height and then you times two because the time taken from ground to Maximum height from maximum height to ground are same. Okay, so we can find the time taken first from ground to maximum height eh, by using the equation V equals to U minus GT. So your V is equals to 0, U is 20 sine 37 minus 9.81 T. Okay, so you will get your T. Okay, you press calculator, 20 sine 37 over, okay, 20 sine 37 degree over 9.81, so you will get 1.27, okay, 1.227, okay, so this is the time taken from ground to maximum, okay, this is 1t. Another T is from maximum to ground. So your period okay, from ground to ground is equal to 2T. Okay, so it's equal to 2.4. Okay, if you let's say we run off. Okay, or if you don't want, you have another method where we can use uh, everything in uh, from ground to ground huh? so meaning that if let's say we use another method okay i change color okay another method if let's say you want to use meaning that everything must be from ground to ground where your u is still 20 sine 37 and your vy okay from ground to ground 
your Vy, we don't know. Okay. And acceleration, of course, is equal to negative 9.81. And then we have Sy. Okay. Meaning from ground to ground, you will go back to origin. So we have change, so we can use S equals to UT minus half GT squared to find the time. S is 0, U is 20, sine 30, 70, minus half, G is 9.81, and then times T squared. Okay, so again, you will get T equals to 2.45 seconds. Okay, so you will get the same answer. Okay, next one. We want to find how far away from it hits the ground. So, meaning that we want to find the range. So, range will always equal to xx or equal to uxt. Okay, so your ux is 30 cos 37 degree. And T from ground to ground is 2.45 seconds. Okay, so if you press calculator, you will get 39.1 meter. Okay, so this is question 3C. D, find the velocity vector, meaning that we want to find x and also y component at the maximum height okay so here we already just now i already found vy equals to zero vx will always equal to ux where is equals to 20 cos 37 okay so you can press calculator okay is is uh, equals to 15 0.97 meter per second okay so this is the value or the vector for the velocity at the maximum height okay how about e e is the acceleration vector at the maximum height so at the maximum height we know that uh, our ax actually no matter at which point so our ax will always equal to zero and your ay will always equal to negative 9.81 meter per second squared. So this is question number 3. Question number 4. A ball is thrown from a point 1 meter above the ground. The initial velocity is 20 meter per second at an angle 40 degrees above the horizontal. So the first one, find the maximum height of the ball above the ground. So meaning that we want to find what is the maximum height. Okay, we want to find what is the value h. Okay, from the ground. Okay, so meaning that we want to find h plus 1 meter. Okay, so now this is the origin, 0, 0. Okay, and the initial velocity is 20 meter per second at the angle of 40 degree. So we need to write down all the informations that we have first. Okay, so from the one meter height, from the origin, the reference point to the maximum height. Okay, so our u is equal to twenty cos forty, and y u y is twenty sine forty. Okay, v x will always equal to u x. So same. Okay, Vy at the maximum height, we know that it will always equal to 0. A for x exit is 0, for y exit is negative 9.81. S, uh, Sx we don't know, but we know that Sx is equal to Uxt. And your Sy actually is your height. Okay, your Sy actually is your height. So we want to find height. At least we must have three information. So we have U, V, A, and we want to find S. Okay, so we can use U, V square equals to U square minus 2 G S to find. Where your V is equal to 0, U is 20 sine 40 square. 
Okay, minus 2G 9.81 S is the displacement for Y component Okay, so your H or your SY You will get 8.43 meter Okay, but the answer is 9.43 Why? Because this H is from the reference point until the maximum height But we want to find the maximum height above the ground Okay, so the total height is equal to 8.43 plus 1 So you will get 9.43 meter from the ground Okay, okay calculate the speed of the ball at the highest point Okay, so we want to find uh, at the highest point in the trajectory So we want to find uh, What is the velocity Okay At the highest point So at the highest point This is the highest point We want to find what is the speed Okay So at maximum height We know that our Okay at the highest point yeah? The maximum point The maximum height Our at Vx is always equal to Ux And the value is equal to 20 cos 40 Or is equal to 15.32 Okay, and then your Vy is equal to 0 So if you want to find V resultant Is equal to Vx square plus Vy square Okay, so if you substitute inside, you will get back also 15.32 meter per second Okay, so this is the answer for questions number 4 Question number 5 An apple is thrown at an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal from the top of the building 20 meter high Its initial speed is 40 meter per second so calculate the time taken for the apple to strike the ground Okay, meaning that we want to find the time taken from the initial point until it reaches the ground Okay So your ux is equal to 40 cos 30 degree uy is equal to 40 sine 30 degree Okay V, when you reach here Okay, we don't know But we know later we can find eh? So this is uh, our Vx And this is our Vy Okay, so this is your V resultant Okay, but we don't know what is the answer Okay, Ax is equal to 0 Ay is equal to negative 9.81 Okay And then Sx Sx, we don't know Okay, but we know that our Sx is equal to Uxt Okay, Sy Sy is equal to Because this is a reference point So from this reference point It goes downward Okay So it is equal to negative 20 Because it's below the Below the reference point And then T is the value that we don't know So now we want to find the time taken Okay, so at least you must have uh, three informations Either you can use X exit or you can use Y component But X exit, we only have two informations So we can use Y component to find T Okay, so you have U, A and S We want to find T Okay, we can use S equals to U, T minus half G, T squared Okay, where S equals to negative 20 U is 40 sine 30 T okay, minus half G T squared. So minus half G is 9.81 T squared. Okay, so you need to rearrange back the equation 4.905 T squared. Minus 20t Minus 20 equals to 0 Okay, so you press calculator You will get t equals to 4.91 second B, find the distance from 
the foot of the building will extract the crowd meaning that we want to find the range or we want to find sx so sx we know that it always equals to uxt where ux we already have 40 cos 30 and t is the time taken from the building to the ground so it's equal to 4.91 so finally, we have the range or the xx equals to 170 meter. C. Find the maximum height reached by the apple from the ground. From the ground. Okay. So we need to find from the reference point to the maximum point h first. Later. We add 20 meter because we want the height from the ground. So we find from the reference point, from the initial point to the maximum height first. So from uh, we want to find the maximum height h. Actually, we want to find s y. Okay, s y is the value that you want to find. Before you find s y, you must have three informations. So the first informations, okay, from this point A to point B. Okay, is we have the UY where UY equals to UY equals to 40 sine 30 and we also have the acceleration it will always equals to negative 9.81 and we know that VY when it reach the maximum height it will always equals to zero so we have u a v and we want to find s we can u v square equals to u square minus 2 g s okay zero you substitute all the value inside 40 sine 30 square minus 2 times 9.81 s so s is equals to 20.4 meter okay so this is not the final answer because the final answer is actually the whole the, the height of yeah, the total height okay from the ground so our s total is 20.4 plus 20 equals to 40 plus 4 meter okay thank you class that's all for today see you on next video